Okay guys, how's it going? Okay, so I'm just going to go through how I fucked up the Cephi door. Now I had a bit of trouble with it running um, at Malala the other week. So I wanted to give it a test run out the road. So I thought I'd go out the back of Tail and Ben, uh, mate's farm. He's on the crew in the road. I thought we'd sneak out there, unload it on his farm, sneak out on the road, give it a blast. Because I thought I'd fix the problem. Well, I think I have fixed the problem. Now, when you're taking the car off, so the bottom doesn't scrape on the rails and shit, you jack up the front. So the trailer's on a bit of an angle like this. Got me mate Pelic in there. I've got a rock behind the wheel so it doesn't roll back. Got Pelican holding at the back here. Pelican, can you hold it so it doesn't roll back? He's going, yeah, I've got this, I've got this. I said, Pelican, have you got this? And he says, yep, I've got it. So I'm holding it with him. I said, right, I've got to go now, Pelican. I'm going to run around there. I'm going to get in the car and I'm going to steer it off the back of the trailer. So, you got this Pelican? Yeah, I've got this, I've got this. So I let go and say, right Pelican, there you go. Now, Pelican didn't have it. As I come around, Pelican says, I haven't got it, I haven't got it. And it's rolled across the little rock I had there to help him. It starts rolling back. So I'm going flying up here, I open the door, get in there, jump in there to hit the brake. I miss the brake, it's still rolling back. It's coming back like this. The door, Fits this, that's the jerry can holder, which is about that much higher than the bloody guard. It gets caught in there, the car's still going back. I'm hanging out the side, it gets caught in there, hooks around like that, and, and I've got my leg hanging out through here, falling back here, nearly broke me back. Pelican. Pelican's just standing there laughing. Car's gone flying back and uh, fuck me door up. So, yeah, wasn't uh, all that uh, happy with Pelican. So I needed another door, but uh, I did go out on the road and give it a test run. Um, I think I had my uh, external fuel pressure valve or whatever it is not working properly. Um, a regulator so I think that had vibrated and wasn't uh, up far enough so it went out on the road give it a, a bit of a blast and it felt pretty good so fingers crossed we pick fix the problem now I'm just going to up and up here. fucking pelican so uh, as for the problem with the car um, up at Malala uh, a couple of people thought it sounded like coil packs so I went and ordered some more. They're these special LS ones. You can see them in there. And I've got them from America because they're about 60 bucks cheaper for each one. Um, so they rocked up. But uh, meantime, while that was happening, and even at Malala, I checked out this um, fuel regulator down in here. And it was showing about one PSI. Now, I don't know what it was supposed to be, so Malala, I wound it up to two just to see if that was the problem. It seemed a bit low to me, and uh, it seemed a bit better, but I was a bit scared I might stuff the motor up, so I didn't do any more. But I should have bloody Googled it, shouldn't I, because I'm a bit of an idiot. And I found that it's supposed to be about 4 psi to 4.3. Um, that day that I was taking it out to give it a test run at Pelican's place, uh, I tested it, I had a bit of a look at it, and I googled it, and it was only showing on one, and then by the time I left it uh, running for a while, I came back, and it had gone right down to about 0.1, so the little lock nut, nut on top there um, wasn't real tight from when I closed it, so it must have vibrated, I think that's what happened before. So before I went out to Pelican's place, I uh, wound it up to four, I think four, um, Took the vacuum hose off because that's what it told me to do adjusted it and uh took a bit to get it pretty tight and after losing me um fucking door at pelicans um it seemed to ride out on the road so fingers crossed i had also put a new set of spark plugs in and i haven't put the uh coil packs on yet so i thought i'd see what uh, if it was this uh, fuel regulator so it seems okay now, so we're just getting it ready. We're getting a bit of a run at Tail and Bend next Sunday when they're testing the track. Uh, they've got all the good guys out there, plus me. Um, 
I think I wiggled my way into it because I'm uh, a local, that's about it. But uh, we'll get out there, hopefully the car's good. And uh, we'll do a bit of filming out there so we can uh, show you what the new track at the uh, bend's like. And uh, yeah, that's about it. Catch you guys later.